I honestly don't believe that doctors do recognize statin side effects, even when they're sitting right in front of them. Statins have become one of the most widely prescribed categories of drugs in medical history. And so we know a lot about them. Dr. Peter Langsjern has been practicing cardiology since 1985. We asked Dr. Langsjern to explain how statins work and how statins affect coenzyme Q10 levels within the human body. They are a drug that blocks a biochemical pathway in all cells, very high up in the pathway. It blocks the production of a compound called mevalonate. That's the precursor for many other compounds. When you block this pathway, you block the ability of cells to biosynthesize cholesterol. Well, there's many branches on this pathway. So think of it as a tree, and you're cutting it off at the trunk. All the branches will be affected. Not only do you lower cholesterol, you lower other compounds. One of those that we know a lot about is this coenzyme Q. So if you take a statin and you decrease cholesterol levels, let's say by 40 or even 50 percent, which they're capable of doing, you're going to have a 40 or 50 percent reduction in CoQ10. It's not, it's not avoidable. It's the same pathway. So cells that are active 24 hours a day, every day, very active, and that would be heart muscle cells. They don't rest day or night. Uh, they use a huge amount of energy, and therefore heart muscle has the highest concentration of CoQ10, by far. We have the unfortunate effect, therefore, that by giving a statin to try and reduce cholesterol, we may well be blocking one of the most important molecules in the function of heart muscle. So in effect, while statins may be acting, they think, in a good way, we've got very ample evidence that by blocking CoQ10, we are probably raising the risk of heart muscle failure and therefore heart attacks from a different avenue other than arterial blockage. Most drugs, if they're going to affect you adversely, you can tell it within a day. You swallow the pill and 30 minutes later you throw up or have diarrhea or have a rash and then you know not to take it again. Statins are insidious because their side effects begin very gradually over a period of months to years. My experience shows that statin side effects can be very subtle. They can, they can involve other organ systems. They can present themselves months to maybe years after starting the statin. So it's not necessarily within a short time frame. And by that time, usually a patient gets diagnosed as having a whole new disease and they're, then they're put on a whole new drug. For the first 11 years of her career, Dr. Catherine Faraday was a medical officer in the US Navy. She now specializes in dermatology and has a private practice in Austin, Texas. I took Lipitor for two years and I was fairly sick during that whole period of time. After I stopped taking Lipitor, it took me another two to three years to get to where I started to feel back to normal, although most of my dramatic symptoms had gone away. I still had memory issues, which I still have to this day, and my energy levels took a long time to come back. I would be saying something to a patient, and then suddenly the next word would not come. In fact, my whole mind would go blank for a couple of seconds. It was like a whiteout. That was frightening. Uh, I didn't know what that was, and Again, I thought, well, maybe it's just stress. I've been working pretty hard. But at the back of my mind, I started to fear that maybe I was starting to get early Alzheimer's. I couldn't say the word, but that was my fear. I went home and I stayed home for three weeks. I was totally exhausted and depleted, emotionally and physically. And all I could do was stay in bed. Uh, it was an effort to get out of bed. I was afraid to get out of bed. I've never been so afraid, so fearful in my life. In fact, I, fear was the only emotion I had. I, I couldn't feel happiness. I couldn't laugh. I couldn't even remember being happy. That was the worst I'd ever felt in my life. Didn't notice anything for, for, for about six months. And then 
I started to get a lot of pain, muscle aches and insomnia and um, I started to feel really genuinely unwell as if I had flu. I started to keep a diary about, about statins because I w um, my memory loss was so bad I thought I ought to write this down because no one's ever going to believe it. So um, I'll just read you a little bit about, about what, what I wrote in my diary at the time. I get lots of depression, light sensitivity, amnesia, unable to write, chest pains, leg pains, incredible f fatigue, and some days I can't get, can't get my legs out of bed. Symptoms are getting worse, and I need to find out what's going on as I think I am dying. It goes on and on and on like this, and it's quite scary actually, because I would never remembered any of this. I'm so glad I wrote it down, and I urge other people to write theirs down as well, write down what, what happened to them. I went, I went to see my doctor and I kept telling him. I found it very difficult at work. I was forgetting lots and lots of things and not completing tasks. And um, he just said, oh, well, you're getting old. You know, we all do that. It happens to all of us when we get to this age. I was 51. There were times when I, I wondered if I really wanted to go on living. I, I mourned my health. I felt that I had lost my health. And I felt that, I felt sorry that I hadn't done things like travel and all those things you think you're going to do. And I felt so sorry that I hadn't done that before I'd lost my health. Now, as I'm trying to be healthy, I'm trying to get enough sleep. I'm trying to manage my stress levels. I'm trying to exercise regularly. My cholesterol continues to be very high. However, I've had several echocardiograms, stress tests, EKGs. Nothing's ever showed any evidence of heart disease. So, so far I'm doing okay. I was involved in partly in a study in, uh, in, in, in Holland uh, where, they, where they asked 50,000 people how many people took statins, what were the side effects. They, they reckoned there was 30 to 35 percent of people got significant side effects. Other studies have shown 20 percent, some studies have shown less. But I personally believe it's in around 20% of people suffer significant adverse events. I honestly don't believe that doctors do recognize statin side effects, even when they're sitting right in front of them. In the middle of my two-year illness, I saw my internist for our annual check. After briefly noting that I was seeing several specialists for my dry eye problem, my arrhythmia problem, my colitis problem, and my depression, she then got to the heart of the visit, which was that she was delighted that my cholesterol levels were under control. I find it ironic that neither she nor I ever stopped to question why a relatively young, healthy person had suddenly developed five new illnesses in one year. And the only new thing in my life was Lipitor. It's not only possible that GPs aren't reporting adverse effects, it's certain that they aren't. I would think it's likely that about one in 200 adverse events are actually reported, probably less.